Oh, that's not gonna be very sturdy. <laughs> Don't hold on to that. Welcome to today's video. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna jack up the car and clean it out. Know where to do it on this one. <laughs> we'll help you. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this thing up in the air so we can look and find out what engine came in it, what transmission came in it, and well, start cleaning this thing out and figure out what we have, what we don't have, and what we need to get coming to get this thing running. It's got some big boy jack stands so we can get this thing way up in the air. Keep going. Uppy daisies. Dang. <laughs> Just keep going up. I think that's a good spot. It's on the cross member. It's definitely been jacked up there a few times. No jag expert, though. That seems like a decent point right there. Whoa. Nailed it. Okay, next. Try to go right off the center section right there on the back. Hopefully. Should be a decent spot. Still weird that these things got the brakes inboard on them. It's pretty cool. I like it. Faster, faster. Are you almost there? Nope. No. We got a long ways to go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not much to land on back here, but we might go ahead and try this little plate mount thing. It looks like somewhere where a jack would go on that little, little pin. So we're going to try that and hope for the best. Not bad. The back's a little bit lower. What are you doing? I'm just sitting here. Just taking five or what? Yep. Yeah, worked hard jacking that car up. <laughs> yes. We got us here a uh, small block Chevy. <laughs> Ready to make all the powers? All of it. Oh, yeah. What's this thing? Steaming. Um, alternator. This is the alternator. Yeah, that's the alternator. That is AC. Yep, good job. Keeps you cool. Yeah. Good thing we don't the need AC that. Thing. <laughs> We're not sure exactly what the engine. I mean, we know it's small block Chevy, probably a 350. We're gonna run some numbers on that, and then we also gotta figure out what the heck type of transmission that is. It looks like it's using an adapter plate. I don't know. Maybe I don't think it's the stock um, Jaguar trans, but about to find out, huh? Yep. 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 Have it running in no time. Doing burnouts. A nitrous hat. We might need some of that on this thing. I think all vehicles need nitrous. Yeah, right? I definitely run better with it. <laughs> all right, Alex, you see some numbers? Uh, we kind of looked at it the other day and found yeah. a couple, but... I know where some numbers are. Not all numbers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need to go ahead and get a full set. You want to start making a list? Yeah. Make a list of stuff that we're definitely going to need to get this thing fired up. What are we going to need? All of O'Reilly's, all of AutoZone, and maybe even some of Advance to get yeah. this started? <laughs> yeah. One section, small blocks at Chevy section. So we're going to need a set of plug wires. We're going to need a battery, which we probably steal the one out of your other car. Yeah? Sure. All right. Hopefully the Delco Remy distributor works still. Look, babe, it's your favorite thing. What? Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, at least this one doesn't have near as much as this tended. No. Oh, dang, we got one of them quadra jets on this thing. So there's the number on the back of the block. Looks like 3070010. Oh, actually 397. Yeah. Gotta fix that. Got it. Take number one off of Google from 2004. See what we can figure out here. It's a two bolt or a four bolt main. Anything special about it? This is probably the most common four inch bore small block Chevy block casting. So it's nothing special. Looks like just a regular 350 block. Also looks like we won't know if it's two bolt main or four bolt main until well, probably we blow this thing up, pull it out, but hey, we'll find out one day. I'm not sure what, we might do a little searching, but I, if that's the serial, that might just be what uh, dictates what that thing came out of. L40A L82 cast iron quadrajet intake manifold. Well, it's got a quadrajet. It's an intake manifold. It looks like this is probably an L82 350 out of possibly uh, like an early, a late 70s, early 80s Corvette. Looks like you got yourself a Corvette engine. What a deal. It does have a mechanical fuel pump. I think the other one she bought has a little electric, but you want to put down a fuel cell. We're going to need a fuel cell for this thing. And then we can try to just patch in some fuel line and get this thing running off of the mechanical fuel pump and we can change it up if needed. Figure out what heads are on this thing and then we'll move on to the transmission. Found a step stool, it's called a Jaguar. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Look at Alex over here trying to figure out what head markings and everything we got here. Numbers, all sorts of stuff. Thanks Let for me see the picture. Thanks for Google. Flip it towards me. It matches the pictures. All right, guys, tell me what that thing looks like. Now, I can kind of see it here in the camera. Shoved it back here behind the engine. And uh, that's pretty distinct marking. So let's let's compare that to what we got. Out of these, the best match would probably be the eye, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that would be the large chamber 76cc hardened exhaust valve seats. Oh, compromised dang. intake port. 71 to 76, 350, 400 CID. Woo. Best of lightweight heads is what this says. Best of lightweight heads. That's what we like to hear. And they're 882s. All right. Cast numbers. If we can find the actual cast numbers and verify that they're Should be 882s. So, maybe we got some decent heads on this 350. You guys tell me if you guys know what the heck we're even looking at. But from what we can tell, looks like eye on that, which is, what do they call it? 888 heads? 882. Or 882 heads on this thing. Chevy 350, pretty uh, common block. Corvette intake, so this might just been pulled out of a Corvette and they slapped it in this thing. Figured out what type of transmission this thing has. A dirty one. <laughs> pretty gross. That's a big old oil pan. Transmission pan, we'll see what uh, we can figure out. You got any numbers over there? Uh, let's see. I see some numbers. Looks like 8623. Baby, got and this? 8623. Okay, Put in transmission. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Uh, Where's that little tiny wire brush? Let me get you one. Yeah, because this does say General Motors Corp right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might have a Turbo 400 in it. Good stuff. 8623801 is what it looks like. A stamp number is on it. 8623801. Or I need the brush, but it could be 807 also. Transmission? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This says on eBay. Turbo 400 GM two wheel drive HD transmission case. That's solid. Yeah. That's really good. If it's got a, maybe it doesn't have an adapter plate. It kind of looks like it, but maybe that's just some other deal going on. But uh, I have no idea because that dang sure looks like an adapter plate to me. Unless this is a like weird bell housing or something. Is it a 60 degree turbo 400? It almost kind of looks like it. But. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can see that, but hopefully you can. That lower bolt is like through the bell housing on the transmission, but the upper bolt goes through what we're thinking is like an adapter plate. So it's kind of weird. Maybe this has got a different, uh, got a weird bell housing or whatever, or it's the Jag. Some of these Jags came with like a turbo 400, kinda, but I assume the bell housing was different at that point. From doing some research, some of the newer Jags from this one would have came with a turbo 400. So maybe this is out of a Jag and then they reused it. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to do some research on that, but this looks to be a turbo 400. That's still good. At least all the turn internals are good there. And then if anything ever goes wrong, I guess we'd just go to a regular cased one and then it should bolt right up to the small block Chevy. But uh, we'll keep looking at it, see what else we can find. We'll get it cleaned off a little bit. I think you can tell by the sheer amount of junk and buildup and everything on here. Like I just cleaned these lines off. They're pretty bad uh, that this car has been driven like it sits, I would say. We got the transmission pan kind of cleaned up. It does say division of GNC under the bottom of it. So it's looking like this might've been one of the four L80s that came in the Jags and then they dropped the 350 in it. Uh, somehow, some way, these two came together. Figured we'd take the oil filter off. Hopefully we have some oil in here. Now it's starting to run, so that's a, that's a sign. It's an okay sign. It's, it's super dark, but it's all right. It's a start. At least, it, at least it's not bone dry, I guess. Ew, it is super dark. Oh, it's sludgy. Ew. Yeah, a little bit. A little sludgy. It hasn't had an oil change in a while. <laughs> but it's also been sitting and everything, too, but... I guess we'll pop the drain on the engine as well. Let that drain out and see how, see what comes out of the bottom of the pan. That hopefully this thing's all right. 
Okay. Try not to make too big of a mess. Let's see what the engine oil looks like now. It's oil. It's dark, but hey, at least it's got oil in it. That's a, it's a plus. This doesn't look magnetic, magnetic, but there's not a lot on this, so that's a, it's a decent sign. I'm not seeing just shards of bearing material or anything come out of it. So engine turns over and it doesn't look like it's pouring all the bearing material out of the oil pan. We might be onto something. Maybe we can get this thing fired up, make it some power. So Alex has been doing some numbering on the Googles and uh, what'd you come up with? Uh, for the V0215 CKR, V is Flint, Michigan. 0215 is February 15th and the CKR stated it was either 73 or 77, 350, 170 horsepower. The serialized number All here. All up on the front? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Well, at least we're getting it figured out. Hopefully this engine does us good for at least a little bit. April's back here working on getting everything out of the trunk got to get your gloves on in case you pull a rat out of here or something <laughs> what do you got accordion oh nice accordion do we need these for uh i don't know just throw them off to the side for now and we'll we'll go through everything so those i think are the covers for the fuel tanks which are in the back of the car we can set those off to the side for a second oh there's that uh so that's a little piece that goes up by the front windshield so that's good that thing's cool it's like all one piece Huh. Okay. Don't want to don't want to lose that. Another one of the fuel tank covers. We got some of that home carpet. Shoo. Oh yeah. Uh, what's that look like? A bunch of bolts and stuff. Probably from them pulling the car apart. All right. So we'll just keep those. You know what that thing is? Uh, With the, the fuel cell. Yeah. There you go. Float. Know. That was smart. <laughs> that was just an honest guess. Well, that looks like the uh, AC this? condenser there, yeah. or trans probably the AC condenser. That's gigantic. Yeah. I want to be a trans cooler. Car has a second AC unit in the truck, don't it? Oh yeah, he did do some sort. I guess yeah. There's an AC unit right there. Some sort of setup. Do you know the history of this car? <laughs> I don't think we need that where we're going. So isn't that like Carfax or something? Yeah. A little bucket of goodies. What do you got there? I don't know what that is. It looks like a arm or something. Or maybe a hub? Huh? Huh? Jaguar. Oh. Jaguar. 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 How do you say it? Jaguar. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. Some wood. Some shims. Looks like some trim pieces. What is this? Uh, looks like an electric motor. Okay. And then you got a light bezel. Looks like cracked little lenses there. No rats so far. Or... No rats so far. We're doing all right. Got an apple box. <laughs> no rotten apples. Okay. So this just looks like tortilla chips. Nice. We got some tortilla chips <laughs> in this thing. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a really old bag. It's kind of cool. One pound of tortilla chips. Did they uh, expire yet? May to March 27th of 85. Dang. This is a person. That's probably the last time this thing ran. I bet I could put this bag on eBay and sell it for like $1,500 or something. Mm -hmm. If only. Get the money back out of the car. <laughs> So there was a lot of stuff in here that would be more than what it I don't think it was the tortilla bag chip. <laughs> chip bag. Maybe the marker lenses. They're bust. They probably go to those right there. Yep. Yeah. I was going to say light switch covers. <laughs> if we were flipping a home, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then this is just like yeah. a turn signal thing. Yeah, they might be some of the... Hell, I don't know. They might go on here somewhere. Hey, don't money. mind that Bondo chip. Chew. No. The other Jag has side markers here. Oh. Ooh, on the side, yeah. up front and back. It looks like they might have. Look at that emblem. Pen. Can 
Wear this you gotta wear that when you do burnouts, yeah. Ooh, look at this. I don't know, maybe these are real. Well, they're probably something off the car. Yeah, they might just be little badges from the side. What's on the back of it? Does it look like a bolt or just stuck on? Well, they kind of... Mm, bolt somehow. All right. All right, all right. Looks like you got some Googling to do. Now you know when I'm building a car and I spend hours and hours and hours on in Googling stuff, I'm trying to figure out where what goes and how it goes, where it goes. Yeah. Keep, it <laughs> Keep it up. Look at that. Repo Metal Master. Kind of. Disc brake pads. Interesting boxes. Jazz. What's in that? Ignition relay. Oh, nice. Got a few spare parts for this thing. Like, why is there so many of Just a these? boot. Like... No, that's different yeah. from those ones. Those are shock boots. That one over that's there. That's like an AC, AC duck. duck. This is something for a pot for a. Uh, like a heater switch yeah. or something? That might be for that secondary AC deal. Another light. Break you guys part. can see they tried to try to plumb something into there. I don't know exactly what's going on, but wires and something else just a bunch of random pieces and parts electric motors this might be all cooling or heating system stuff another jaguar thingy yeah got two thingies mm -hmm. yeah i think this is what we got going on Nothing got some things with some stuffs and some wires and some yeah nothing too exciting going on in that box on to the next Pick that up to the burnout comp in case we need some spares. Ooh. I think we, we don't need that where we're going. Take that to the dump. What is what's in there? Oh, so that's some is that the main marker lights then? Yeah, that's the blinker for the passenger front. Whoa. See there's the side marker lights. That I think we would there's a lot here. more in here too. I don't know, there might just be some spare parts or something. Somehow these got collected into the car. Or... I don't know exactly. Apparently this car has all the lights. <laughs> all the lights. This thing would be lit up like a cop car. Nice. Air up your tire maybe? Oh, is that what that is? Yep. What is that? Air chuck. How much air could a woodchuck chuck if it could wood chuck woodchuck air? <laughs> You like that, Alex? <laughs> I think you need to go to bed. It's getting close. Squirrel. Oh, that's a this a forerunner. That's just this forerunner on this. Oh, we got some forerunner mats. Yes. Dang. Up for sale on eBay soon. Gotta get our money back. This that's trash. Okay. So all the things, and I don't think really we need much of any of it to do burnouts. If anyone wants this, let us know. April will sign it. Send it out. That so looks like what they're talking about just being a spare like AC unit in the back, I guess. So we can probably ditch that. But they were talking about on these since the fuel cell sits right here in this little pocket behind the tire, which would not be safe. And I guess it's pretty much a pain with the Jags is that you end up putting a fuel cell back here. So let's go ahead and pull that all up and see if we can. Um, so just a cover there. Okay, so the spare tire, so we'll probably have to pull the spare tire out. And actually, it's a pretty decent little setup. So it's got a nice square little box back here to be able to put a um, fuel cell in. What do you got there? This says 1998. It's not well, that shoot, old. shoot, not that old. So does this thing still have the fuel pumps in it back here too? Mm, I don't see it. Here's the distribution block between both tanks. Yeah. So on the 12, there's two fuel pumps that sit back here, but it looks like we'll just be able to pull the spare tire and rim out of this and then mount a fuel cell right there and then run some fuel line to the front. Oh, scissor oh. jack. Yeah, oh, this is the... So you can change out tires in between burnouts, babe. Yeah. All right, yes. Yeah. You don't look so excited. What's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Right? All the fun things, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Work to this oh thing. yes it's gonna be super fast what 
wheels. Oh, just the wheel speed. So just the wheel speed that's it. Just yeah, that's about all. <laughs> so that's another one of our plans is get a fuel cell. I think we're just gonna do a regular fuel cell with a little sump on it, add some fittings, just put some regular rubber hose, like push hose on it, and then bring it up to the mechanical pump and see if we can get this thing running like that. And then I'm sure eventually we'll end up putting an electric pump on this thing once we go EFI. Let's see what's inside this thing now. Yeah. Already starting off good, huh? No, some registrations and stuff or what? Yeah. When was the last time it shows a solid registration? 75. 94. 94? Shoot. Seven, wait, what is this one? This say? thing was practically running like yesterday. $52. Sure? Well, maybe not quite yesterday, but. Don't mind. Oh, that. Oops. Yeah, that doesn't quite. Uh, quite works so well oh nice interior so you got some door panels this is probably the nicest piece in the whole entire car and we're taking it out dang it i think we're gonna just ditch these seats they're they're bad we haven't even got to them and i can tell they're <laughs> oh god oh, you think they're a little bad that's that's terrible Ew. there might be some rats in that bad boy so this is how they would measure gas i guess to see how far you've traveled miles per gallon pocket computer huh <laughs> Ah, oh, dang, check that out. This is a computer Old back in the day. Roll. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. These right here are the fuel tanks that would go right here. Uh, but definitely not going to do that because when the tires pop and if they were to hit the gas tank and blow those up, that would be big boom, Alex. Big boom. So we're definitely not going to be running those. Plus, I guess they're a pain anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get those out of now the back of the car. Ow. Sharp, careful, tetanus. Oh no. Is that our wrenches or did we get free wrenches? Mm -hmm. Did we get free Pittsburgh wrenches with this bad boy? Maybe. Shoot. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. It's like every car we do, we get free tools with it. Clyde had, or Bernie had that whole little like tool kit. Oh yeah, that Walmart tool kit. Oh yeah. What is that? What? <laughs> I just, like what's that big piece of foam? Ugh, I'm just afraid something's gonna come. <laughs> Hoping no rat jumps out. Look at that! Now we can almost put the new seats in there. Won't even look too bad. Look how much better it looks already with just all the crap pulled out of it. We'll get those seats out. I think the plan is to get some of the Jag seats, like the little plastic buckets or whatever, and slap it in here. Cheap, easy, quick. And just be done with it. What do we got there? I'm gonna let you read it. Uh, I read it, huh? Yes. Does it say what's in it? Yeah, flip it around. Oh, back here. Grandpa Gus's mouse pouches, huh? Neat. For indoor use only. Here, open this thing. Oh, I'm not opening that. Maybe there's a mouse in it. Ugh, don't give me those chills. What's in there? What is in there? Nothing but is laugh. there a mouse in there? Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Hey, your car, you gotta see what's in it. Here. What? Hold this. <coughs> Are you backing up? <laughs> just whatever this is. It's like little. Yeah, it's just like poison. Maybe. Eat it. No, I'm good. You thought it, it was a mouse, though. You thought yeah. there was a mouse in the mouse pouch. I wonder how you came up with that. that yeah, I don't know like what that is. Maybe these are like fur. snacks, Alex. You want to try one? No. You sure? That's y'all job. This is y'all car. It says for indoor use only, so you can only eat these indoors. You're indoors right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, take a bite. S snort it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what they, maybe they threw these in the car so there wouldn't be mouses. Well, duh. Well, looks like you're good. Safety first, no problem. Hop back in. Filter 10 pack of mouse repellent pouches, 100% satisfaction guarantee with your with your purchase. We might be 100% satisfied. Uh, it says non-poisonous, mice, squirrels, spiders, non-toxic. Man, this car is cleaner guarantee. than... 
This car's cleaner than clean. Thanks, Grandpa Gus. Grandpa Gus. Maybe that's what we should call this thing. Says Grandpa it's not Gus. Toxic. I kinda like that name. Grandpa Gus. So how many cars does that make now that y'all would have named after something found in the car? I know. Well, besides Salty, Clyde. Well, Bernie, it's just Clyde. Yeah, Bernie, so, I mean, I came up with that name. because. So every cars. vehicle that's older than 1980. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grandpa Gus. We got some other nice. names on some of these things, too. There's all sorts of names in here. Oh, yeah, that doesn't get any better. Hey, there's another one. Oh, I... You might want to save that seat cover. That's that's something. Nice. Got more carpet on that seat even. One seat down. One very very gross one to go. The floor's falling apart. The floor's falling apart. Well, I can see the floor. Uh, or I can see the ground through the floor. You see the ground through the floor. Yeah, it might be a little bit of rust. Do I keep going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, is that rust or is that actually like wood? Yeah, it rusted through, yeah. A little bit. The rest of the pan's not too bad. From the bottom, it looks okay. Maybe yeah, that's just one of the places where something. You got it all cleaned up. That's looking pretty good, babe. Thank you. Yeah, that's looking good, huh? Big difference from having all that whatever was in there. Yep. April's detailing. Hit April's detailing. <laughs> New business. Check it out. No, it's looking. Looking way better. Got a lot of that uh, foam out of here. Got all the crusty and crap and all the stuff. Door panels are still pretty rough. I'm not, not fixing that with just a simple, well, you should just pull them off. But yeah, that's looking way better. Don't need anything fancy to do burnouts other than some tire smoke. Yep. Just hit the gas pedal. We need one of those. And we got one of those. It's long, but we got one. So we found a piece of downspout in the trunk and I look up and this is what I see. So they took downspout hey, and I'm made it an area for the, the fresh air intake for the air that goes into the car for the little pole air ducts. <laughs> oh man, is, what, that's what ridiculous. There's our, there's our other piece. So yeah, that's for the other goes. side. <laughs> <laughs> Patch it in there and be... Get your fresh air. Wow, that's crazy that they used house downspouts to plumb that. Unbelievable. Oh, we're still hooked on the belts. This thing is disgusting. Pretty much got it then too. Oh, got team. Oh. Looks way better now that it's not got a bunch of crap in it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, this is this is looking a lot better. This, a lot better. This is looking a lot better. Very yeah. promising burnout vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Shaping up. Yes, she's gonna be fast. Like a jaguar. Yeah. Oil change, fluid change on the transmission, fuel cell. What else is on our list? We'll pull the battery out of the other one. Spark plugs and wires. Do a whole tune up on this thing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some fuel line. And then hopefully with that, if we get the battery hooked up in here and the single crank, that'll be the next thing. We just need to verify it cranks, but supposedly they did. So we're going off of that, supposedly. Yeah. So we we're told, but uh, everything appears like it should. So we need to get a battery in here, check some wiring. At least we kind of got most of the crap. We don't need gutted out of here tonight, but otherwise I think you got yourself a little project. Yeah. Fast as a Corvette. An old Corvette. Real fast. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. On to the next. If they want to see more, what do they do? Hit the subscribe button. And we'll be back with more on April's Burnout Build. See you guys next time.